Is here. Okay, it's recording. So, hi everyone, welcome to the uh, bi weekly dynamic data and capabilities working group uh, meeting. Um, today, um, I'm going to ask everyone if they haven't already to fill in the crypt pad um, for the, the progress and uh, attendees. Um, is anyone uh, volunteering to be the note taker today? <laughs> I can take someone. So the, yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then I will also take some, my best. <laughs> some notes. I'm I'm here besides uh, Andrea at Motsi in yeah. Porto. Um, so we're joined by the year. Um, thank you, Andrea. Um, cool. So, everyone also can add items to the, to the agenda if they want to have uh, items uh, discussed. They can add throughout the meeting if they want to. Um, so, let's start with the rounds of intros and, and updates. So, first, well, it's, it's me, I'm, I'm the first on the list, so I'll uh, quick um, intro. So, I'm Pedro, I, uh, I'm the captain of the Dynamic Data Working Group uh, and Dynamic Data Working Group for IPFS. Uh, I work for, I'm a software engineer for Protocol Labs. And um, what have I accomplished since the last meeting? So I created the Scale Pure Pad Effort, um, RFC, uh, which kind of describes the um, the effort behind, so I'm, I'm going to share my screen. I think it's better like this. Okay, share screen. Okay. So the scale pure pad effort is uh, something that um, we're trying to accomplish, like a, a very uh, brave goal to have like 150 concurrent users using the same pad for the end of July. And so, uh, here are all the blockers that we currently have for making that happen. Uh, together with that, we have um, a protocol for uh, discoverability and uh, replication. So if you're interested in this, uh, I suggest that you take a look and give your input. I think David has all already um, given his, his input, uh, but I appreciate that everyone else uh, that has uh, could have some input on, on this. And in that regard, I created, uh, I started a Pure Star app, uh, which is the, I have implemented the first layer of that, which, which is to make the gossip protocol scalable. And it's heavily, uh, it's based on, on a, um, um, a persistent uh, hash ring, so, so a consistent hash ring, sorry, um, where uh, the underlying discovery protocol finds the peers, and instead of connecting directly to them as IPFS does, uh, it only connects to a subset of those peers, depending on the position on uh, uh, that ring. Uh, so uh, I'll also have a demo about that uh, later on, if you have time. And for me, that's, that's it, I don't have any blockers right now. Um, not immediate blockers for the next two weeks. Um, so let's proceed here. Next one in the list is Andre Cruz. Yeah, I'm right here. So uh, I'm, I'm Andre Cruz. Um, my handle is Satoza on Twitter, Vidal, et cetera. So uh, I've been working on, um, on building a decentralized application uh, but before that, of course, we need some kind of identity and authentication solution. And I've been, I've been working on that on the past few weeks or two weeks. Um, and uh, as part of those, uh, th that work, I've made a problem statement, which essentially uh, describes the problem that we are having and, and how uh, do we attempt to solve it. And we actually made um, identity and authentication RFC. So if anyone can comment on that, it will be awesome. Um, so that's that's the things that I've concluded. 
Um, in progress, I, I've been working on the data model behind um, the RFC identity manager, which we propose. And actually, I'm also working on the on a proof of concept of the identity manager, so that it uh, it it can be demonstrated um, how it works uh, in a in an application, in a, in an application or a distributed application, or a centralized application. Um, in terms of being blocked, um, I'm I'm very willing to get some feedback on the on the RFC. I know that Fritzi already comment on that. It was great. Um, also. Um, I think we need to agree if we should spend time developing the identity manager or, or if we proceed with an ad hoc solution for the, the authentication part of, of the centralized applications. Um, and I'm looking forward also uh, to have a meeting with the import team to discuss all of these subjects to get also their feedback. And that's, that's it. Okay, thank you, Andre. Okay, next in the list is Machi. Not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Machi, are you there? Uh, my name is pronounced uh, Machi. Machi. But I right. think you're, I think you're pronouncing it correct. So I was working on um, making peer patch run with the rendezvous protocol. I also made a demo for that, and um, currently I'm still rewriting um, the rendezvous protocol the JavaScript client because that is kind of a mess right now. And um, I'm also working on integrating the rendezvous protocol into IPFS or libp2p, depending on where that should be. I will continue with those tasks as my uh, next tasks, and I currently don't have any blockers. Thank you, Machi. Um, if that's also part of the efforts. Much is helping out part of the effort of scaling peer path. Uh, so integrating the rendezvous protocol, rendezvous protocol into uh, the JS version of IPFS. So thank you for that. Um, okay, João, you're next. Hello everyone, I'm João. My uh, GitHub handle is juansant15. Um, in the past two weeks, I've been working with uh, Andre and Pedro on um, identity identity manager, so a peer star identity based solution. Um, so I don't have anything of substance to add to what Andre said. We have been working on the RFC. Um, we have developed. I mean, and Andre has actually developed uh, some wireframes as to how the application should look. Uh, and now we are working on defining the requirements for a, a proof of concept to demo in the, the next uh, call probably. So, yeah, let's see the date. Okay, thank you, João. Uh, next thing is Carlos. Uh, are you there, Carlos? Okay. Yep. So, I hope this works because my connection is very bad. I'll keep the video out. Uh, so, I'm joining here for, for the first time j just to get a little bit more familiar with the uh, FFS ecosystem and see if. Where, where we could potentially help uh, mainly on the, maybe on the gossip topologies and maybe on the CLT steps. So, uh, some people that, that work in our team, they are abroad right now. So I'm the only one here. I will be like, always staying quiet and trying to learn a little bit from, from, uh, from the meeting. Okay. okay, Carlos, thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, so Carlos is, for people that don't know, is, is one of the main researchers behind uh, CRDTs and one of the co-authors, co correct me if I'm wrong, of the uh, seminal paper on CRDTs. His presence is very yes. much appreciated. And also your, his, his knowledge and input. Um, cool, so let's see who's next. Fritzi, Nathan, are you there? Yep. Uh, so I'm working on um, the libraries surrounding um, the rewrite of PeerPad for um, for the demo this summer. Hold on one second. Um, in any case, so I'm working on the uh, the login flow for. Um, 
uh, using uh, close to what you guys are doing for the RFC. In fact, I'm getting it closer and closer to your RFC. And I'll have a demo of it uh, uh, next week for this meeting of using uh, pure identity and uh, a basic um, attestation uh, login registration service. Um, but it won't have that identity manager PWA um, uh, that you guys are that you guys are proofing. Um, but you might find some of the building blocks there uh, will be usable um, if you guys want to use it there. So uh, in pure identity. So and just managing dids and managing uh, 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 public and private keys and stuff like that. So. In any case, that's me. Great, thank you, Nathan. All right. Um, so I think it's demo time. Uh, so the first one on my list is me. So I'm going to share my screen now. Again, it's a very uninteresting demo, uh, which is just um, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a mocha test. Um, that runs a few tests. This is a very simple test, but now I'm going to spawn a swarm. So, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, swarm. And um, I'm also the, some, uh, spawning a very small swarm right now with 10 nodes. Uh, I'm keeping counts of inbound and outbound connections, uh, so that's uh, to understand um, the fan out of on a topology. Um, so I'm I'm throttling uh, a lot of things here. I'm throttling uh, the, re the the resetting the connections when the ring changes. I'm throttling uh, also understanding whether a peer is interested in the application or not. Um, I think it's a bit fast now, um, but I'm, I'm printing all, all the events. But you can see that the number is fairly low. Instead of going to uh, nine bomb connections on each one of the peers, uh, and one of, of the tests here is that uh, uh, a maximum uh, of six per peer outbound connection is being made. And sometimes you get a fairly good distribution uh, of inbound connections, uh, depending on the formation of the, the ring, which depends on the peer ID, which depends on, on randomness. Uh, but so far I've been getting good results and the, the final test is that everyone gets uh, one gossip message, uh, which is hell world. So to prove that the uh, gossip topology is, is well connected. And so that's the first step in, that's the first step in the, making this uh, gossip topology a bit more scalable. Uh, and the initial uh, version of the topology or topology algorithm was proposed by the vids and conversations and has been refined and as i said is a, a subject in the rfc so if you guys want to take a look at the code or even the rfc uh please do you're more than welcome um i'm going to stop sharing now um cool. so i think there is another uh demo here um yes Machi is a uh, pure pad with rendezvous protocol. Machi, are you there? Um, so wait, let me share my screen. Um, so can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yep. And Mm. Why isn't this thing in the... Uh. Now stuff is not working, perfect. <laughs> so 
I will have to move this around instead. Uh, so this demo basically shows that uh, peer pad over the rendezvous protocol works. So first I'm going to create a new pad and uh, it creates an IPFS node. There is no peer-to-peer -peer WebSocket star address. And uh, after the peer gets created, it registers um, to a channel. And the console of the rendezvous server, uh, you can see that it's connected now and re registered there. Um, the channel name is basically uh, the hashed uh, read key. So uh, the key is hashed, so the rendezvous server cannot access the patch. Um, after that, it tries to discover peers. Uh, now I will open this pad in this tab. And it should also connect to uh, the rendezvous server in a second. And then I should be able to see uh, changes from here in here. Um, it takes a while to discover, but uh, I will work on making it faster too. Now that both peers are connected, the title has changed, and this proves that uh, what I've created works. Um, so that was basically the whole demo. Anybody has questions? Thank you, Mati. I That's great. Awesome. Uh, maybe perhaps explaining what uh, rendezvous is, the rendezvous protocol is for people that are not familiar with that. Can you do that? Um, so the rendezvous protocol is basically a way to discover services um, using rendezvous servers, um, or basically to discover other peers that have certain services using namespaces, which uh, I did with uh, using a specific namespace for a specific pad. And the difference to WebSocket star is basically that it uh, is not using a fixed server and is no longer using Socket.io. It's now uh, able to switch between servers or use multiple at the same time. And that's uh, the improvement that is made here aside from uh, the fact that it now only discovers peers interested in a certain pad. Thank you, that's great. Uh, so the part of the demo that I did uh, where uh, you had to discover whether a certain peer was interested or not in that application in order to decide whether to add them to the um, to add them to to add them to the, the set of, of, of peers that uh, I may connect to uh, is the scalability of that is solved by by the rendezvous um, protocol itself which is great is another piece on, on that Cog is, is being solved by Amachina. Thank you for that. Cool. So right now, uh, now you we have time for questions. Does anyone have a question? Um, I have one question regarding the last demo. So what, what is the difference between, or what does the rendezvous protocol solves? that the typical pub, pub serve that uh, IPFS already has doesn't solve. And, and I'm sorry for my knowledge, uh, not, not, knowledge, not being knowledgeable about all these subjects. Um, it's okay. Um, so it uh, solves the problem of uh, knowing which uh, topics a peer is interested in without connecting to that peer, because otherwise the overhead would be too high. Um, if uh, the um, client would connect to every peer, that would uh, take too long, and so the centralized or semi-centralized solution solves that. Andre, Andre is satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Matthew. Any other questions? Exactly. Topic service discovery. Well put. Um, any other question? No? All right. Um, so, uh, meeting adjourned, I guess, uh, and see you on the internet or 
and or in 15 days. Bye-bye, thank you. Thank you for joining. Bye.